So I got this weird ad on Facebook for Cheech and Chong's Cruise Chews. On Facebook? Yeah, you remember Cheech and Chong, right? Well, yeah, I, I'm just kind of baffled that of all the platforms, that's the one it shows up on. We're going to get to that and why that's so weird here in just yeah. a sec. Uh, to set it up, Cheech and Chong were a comedy duo first. They mm -hmm. had a few albums. They were a little edgier than the Smothers Brothers. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, but um, then they had a series of, what, 70s and 80s movies? I remember the cover of Up in Smoke because they had this huge joint uh -huh. that they were smoking that was taller than you. Oh. Like, it was comically <laughs> huge. Oh, so it kind of looked like um, Frodo in that one scene with the spiders? <laughs> and that's how you know I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you remember when we came back from our very first episode one vacation uh -huh. and stopped at Planet 13, the world's largest dispensary in Las Vegas, we saw that they had some gummies. Right, yeah. So now they are shipping well, them. I mean, I almost remembered it. Yeah. Kidding, kidding. We, uh, now um, they are shipping to all 50 states. Look at this ad. All of them, Mike, are you sure? They say, yes, we can ship to your state. And then there's an asterisk. And then... It says, not you, Idaho. What did we do? <laughs> so we, I, well, right. What, what's well, wait, going on? Wait, wait, wait. Do they have THC in them? Okay, I'm glad you asked. Because apparently, Carl, did you know that under the 2018 Farm Bill, hemp-derived products that contain less than 0.3% Delta 9 THC, whatever that is, are perfectly legal. In fact, they send them using the United States Postal Service. Okay, now is that an indica or a sativa? I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Kidding. Sorry, that's a joke. <laughs> I guess you have to be 21 or older to get them, but I'm wondering, okay, if... I know weed isn't legal in all 50 states. Right. But if it's only 0.3% Delta 9 THC, and then they combine the rest with mm -hmm. um, like CBD. Right. Okay, okay. Which is available it's, here in Idaho. In yeah. Idaho Falls, we have a couple of CBD shops. Uh-huh. At least a couple. I guess it's kind of like non-alcoholic beer. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking it's like a low... It's like getting... Ordering a low-level beer or a low-level wine. And then watering it down some more. But here's what boggles me. Even Utah. Yeah. Idaho is the only state. Let's look at this again. Well, and we appreciate farming. What the hell? It is the <laughs> only state. Right. Yeah. It, we're the so we have some law where you can't get any? I, I remember or hearing that Governor Brad Little won't allow any THC in the state as long as he's governor or whatever. So I don't know if somebody's standing on principle or there's a tail wagging the dog somewhere, mm -hmm. but... Uh, and and I'm not complaining, by the way. I don't care. I just think it's hilarious and Idaho related mm -hmm. to see this ad on my Facebook saying, eh, 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 you right. can't have it. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you wanted some. Yeah. Like, like they, Facebook knows where you are. Yeah. And they're showing you the one person who can't have it. Like, that's just bad advertising. It is. It's is. They're wasting yeah. their money. Yeah. You know, if, if you've seen Funny. the ad too. But, hmm. oh, and in fact... um. And also, can I just mention, that governor has totally tried weed before, allegedly. <laughs> you think I'm, so? I'm alleging, yes, I do. But Come he probably on. didn't inhale. Yeah, right, right. He was just around, he went to a rock concert once in the 60s. <laughs> right, right. Come on, dude. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Okay, uh, next one. Now, oftentimes we will get unintentionally dirty. Uh, <laughs> this, however, lends itself to it. So we're probably going to end on this. Maybe uh -huh. have one more thing for you. Have you heard of a, well, it's a little gas station in the Midwest, I believe called come and go. I mean, that's a name and, and it's spelled K U M. Oh, wow. And go. Yeah. Man, I mean, at least it wasn't C U M. <laughs> right. You know, like at least it's a little different, but also, why Why change the spelling of come? It's four letters. It's fine. Check out this family guy sign for Cream Queen. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a fake business on their right, show. Right. But the marquee says, we came up with the name in the 1940s before everything got dirty. <laughs> and I get it. We all yearn for a more innocent time, don't we? Oh, sure. I know that there's... So are all these businesses that have, you know... Dirty names now, going to change them. I know there's a Dick's Burgers in Seattle. So you can literally 
eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, not to mention we've got a dicks here too. Yeah, dicks, sporting, sporting goods. goods. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we got a sofa king. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but that one's more of a vocal joke than a visual joke. Our sofas aren't just comfy; they're sofa king comfy. <laughs> Well, and we've got Beaver Dick Park. Yes, we talked about that. Yeah. Earlier last year, we went mm-hmm. to Sausage Fest right. at Beaver Dick Park. Mm-hmm. And there's a petition to change the name of Beaver Dick Park. Don't sign it. How dare you? But Beaver Dick was a famous trapper who, by the way, got his nickname from Brigham Young. Mm-hmm. So how dare you uh, not uh, honor the words of a prophet? No. Um. So moving on. <laughs> Come and Go has been purchased by, well, here's the connection, <sighs> Maverick. Oh. Who's based in Utah. Oh, so they're definitely going to change the name then, I'm guessing. They're definitely going to change their name. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I blame them. Come and go will become Maverick. Yeah. Well, and, <laughs> and you know, it's kind of a bummer because Come and Go really is a kind of genius name for a gas station if it didn't have any of the connotations. Yeah, back in the 1940s. Right. Sure. Right. Because like all it is is people coming and going and getting their gas and being on their way. Yeah. You know, like it makes sense. The spelling is unfortunate, mostly because it's stupid. Um, <laughs> well, and a lot of things come and go. Fashion mm-hmm. trends, the seasons, karma chameleon. <laughs> Baby daddies. Yeah. 